glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His ways. We, the daughters and sons of Him, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together now this morning as God's family, let us be mindful of the ever-present mercy of God in our lives. Let us now take courage to admit and recognize our sinfulness amidst God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, to you my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bollocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more our God to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will Heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them... The just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My mouth will declare your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. 
Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. My mouth will declare your praise. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of sin with hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. My mouth will declare your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Alleluia, alleluia. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, up to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men. For they will hand you over to the courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who will speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel is a continuation of the previous narratives about the missioning of the uh, apostles and also the disciples. And here we encounter a particular darker and challenging aspect of the mission, that in the landscape of the mission field, there are wolves. There are people who will also betray family because uh, they oppose the gospel. There will be people who will scourge and uh, persecute those who assent to the Christian faith. So in the midst of this, Jesus gives certain directives and guidelines. The first one, he says that in the midst of wolves, we are to be as serpents, shrewd as serpents and as simple as doves. Normally, when we encounter a wolf in the course of time, in order probably to protect ourselves, we too have the tendency to become a wolf Ourself. We get carried by the spirit of the world. And Jesus says here, maintain your prudence and your innocence in this type of encounter. In the um, movie, The Lord of the Rings, the one chosen or cast as the hero was not exactly one who had uh, knew the ways of the world. Uh, but the hero there was actually a very innocent hobbit, and he knew less of the world. And yet, it is precisely because of innocence that he became possible for him 
to become the hero of that long saga in the Lord of the Rings. And so here, it is the same, that we can maintain our innocence amidst the uh, wolfishness, I would say, uh, of the world. Second, we can be overwhelmed with worry on what to say and how to defend ourselves whenever we are persecuted. And here, Jesus is assuring us not to worry about what we are to say because it will be given to us at the right time. And so there is this wisdom of trusting in the Lord that things will turn out well, that we can continue to defend the Christian message amidst persecution. Finally, another negative reality here is the divisiveness that the gospel will bring to the family. Sometimes whenever a person converts uh, and those in the family oppose it, normally that person is, is really uh, persecuted and disowned by the family. It happens sometimes. And that is why uh, being a Christian here will entail a certain perseverance to the end. So this gospel today lays out uh, and frees us from the illusion that the mission will always be joyful, as it were, uh, like the experience of the 72 disciples where you know they saw the devil, Satan, fall from the sky. But here, the other side of it, the mission entails difficult challenges. And in the face of this, we are to maintain our own Christian stance and Christian values, the sense of innocence, the sense of trusting that the Lord will support us in our own when we do not know what to say. And finally, the perseverance amidst our own difficulties. Let us pray we receive these graces to be true missionaries in the world today. Assured of God's guidance and protection, let us approach God knowing that he is always ready with a help that never fails. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The church leaders may be determined and fearless in proclaiming God's message despite opposition, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations and peoples may be freed from sinful systems of oppression and terrorism, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those experiencing difficulties in their marriage may receive the grace to persevere in their commitment, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those tormented by fear and anxiety may find protection within the community, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may reap the rewards of their labors in God's eternal kingdom, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Gloria Barcelona, Father Christopher Dumadag of the Society of Jesus, Nolet Paterno, Melody Medina, Edmark Chinor, and Romeo Salvador, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Father Pat Falguera of the Society of Jesus and Freddy Galvez, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Felix Tan, Kishore Advani, Pedro Lorenzo, Maria Teresa Salvador, and Renel Di Macali, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Pat Montinola, Aga Camarata, Rosario Melchor, and Jovi Miroy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you are the source of life. Dispel the darkness of evil from our hearts and fill us with the brightness of your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, Incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now, as one family of faith, let us pray together using the words Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, 
that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Nasa krus ni Jesus Ang siyang sa mundo'y tumubos Langit at lupa siya'y papurihan Araw at tala siya'y parangahalan Ating pag-iwang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanan Alleluia! At isigaw sa lahat Sumaya, buong maya, nagsosabay sigaw, 